Hi, today is Friday, November 18th, 2011, and this is just a video showing um, the progress I'm making on my rainwater collection. Uh, right now I've got gutters on the side of the tiny house. Uh, I'd show the other end, but the sun's over there. Uh, they come down through a uh, uh, downspout. Uh, there's, there's a little uh, leaf catcher thingy at the top. I'll come down through, uh, the downspout is a, a PVC pipe. And I've got, actually, if you see the other side of the house comes across on that under the back window. It comes down. Rainwater comes, uh, actually, at the bottom you can see that it, it's going into that jug right now. That's the uh, first flush diverter. Um, basically, the first, uh, for this size roof, uh, about two and a half gallons of rainwater comes off. Uh, goes in that little container uh, that's the you know first flush you know with the bird poop and stuff on it but um, once that fills up the water will continue through here and down through this um, stainless steel colander which serves to collect like pine needles and stuff and uh, pours into the tank the tank is underneath this thing uh, I've got this uh, this, this little deck built up on top, but the tank holds about uh, 250 gallons. It was actually a, a, a tank that a guy had on Craigslist um, for, uh, I think it held about, yeah, about, about 250 gallons. It was like an old waste tank, I think. But, you know, it cleaned up good, and they're not going to be drinking out of this water, so. But uh, the pump that I made for it, and actually you can see this hose coming through here. That hose goes to the inlet that I put in a long time ago. But uh, the pump is, uh, I, I built myself. I need to mount it yet, but. I was so excited about it that I just made it here. It's actually just made out of PVC. There's a retention valve at the end, a one and a half inch PVC pipe coming up to a, a T there, and this hose will actually be able to screw onto this uh, these threads we got there. But the uh, the piston piston rod here is another PVC pipe. This one's three quarter inch, and uh, here's the piston rod at the end. I took a, a cap, uh, cemented it on, and uh, put a carriage bolt through it. Uh, put a nut up to the top there. Another nut a little further down. We've got the uh, the piston here, which is uh, a coupler cut in half with uh, some notches cut into it, uh, and uh, a foam seal from a, uh, a sandal. That's the, uh, the the little piston there. Another little foam seal, and some other nuts at the end. Uh, I saw that on a, a YouTube video, of course. Where else do you see the best ideas? But on the internet, uh, called I want to say it's Agua Yaku or something. Anyways, I am actually going to, uh, for right now, hopefully I'll be able to show how this thing works. I'm going to put the uh, piston in. And I don't have all these uh, cemented together yet. Nor do I have a hole cut for the... Uh, the actual uh, pump. What I can show, right now at least, put the pump in, and let me see if my camera's lined up right. That yeah, should be lined up close enough, right? Sucks up enough water. Start pouring it out. Really, of course, I need to get a, uh, a handle there. Like right now, I'm just pushing straight down, having a handle and uh, ease up on some of that. But, uh, and also, right now, once it's done, the water stays in, but I can lift it up, press on the bottom of the retention valve and the water will release at least part of it there. So I need to clear that out, but for right now, I have a means of getting water out of my tank. And of course, here's Barney. Hi, Barney. Say hi. Say hi, Barney. Barney does not like cameras. Okay, but uh, that's... Uh, Water so far.